Greetings dear friends, I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Chevrolet Tahoe. In most cases there is a chain NP246 with a TOD system, an automatic connection of the front axle through clutches with a hydraulic drive and an electric actuator in a drive. The resource of the transfer case with a timely oil change is quite large, with runs of 250-300 thousand, you will often need a kit for restoration from bearings and seals numbered AETK246 or just a set of gaskets K105946. The HV of 63 chain may need to be replaced earlier depending on the load. The pump and clutches are very tenacious, just remember to change the oil. The main volume of breakdowns is provided by the actuator. It is weak, it has a frail motor, a weak gearbox and leaking connectors. Until 2005 the actuator 600-901 was used, after that 600-812 arc. They are not cheap, so if only the motor needs to be repaired or the gearbox needs to be restored and the housing is still intact, then it is often the repair rather than replacement that is cheaper. You can order some parts from America and if it doesn't work out, then you should know. You can buy a Rosdatka with Escalade, it doesn't have a downshift, but the price is two times lower. It remains to add that on cars imported from the USA, in addition to the usual NP246 handouts, there are completely different exotic options, for example NV271C, NV263, Severe T150, NV241C or NV149. We will not go into details of the differences, just keep in mind that there are a lot of transfer cases and it makes sense to clarify the model before buying, so then there will be no problems with ordering spare parts. Mostly there are automatic transmissions of the GM4L60E series and on cars with rare custom 6.08.1 engines and 6.6 .6 diesel engines, as well as on heavy duty versions for towing heavy trailers, the boxes are more powerful, the 4L ATE series, even with a separate cooling radiator. All automatic transmissions are manufactured by GM in four stages, with electronic control and first locking of the gas turbine engine. The designs are extremely reliable and time-tested. They only dislike dirty oil and high revolutions due to the peculiarities of the oil pump used. And the oil is contaminated quite intensively, since the torque converter lock-up setting, the lining of which is main supplier of mud, is quite aggressive. It cannot be said that these boxes are eternal, but with a calm driving style they can easily withstand more than 350,000 mileage and roll half a million each. But if you constantly trample the gas pedal and wear out the aforementioned blocking of the gas turbine engine, be prepared for a much smaller resource. The main weak point of the 4L60 e boxes is the discs of the 3-4 package. The gearbox is designed in such a way that the wear of the solenoids due to oil contamination leads to a lack of pressure to engage the third gear and a shock when the fourth is turned on. For fans of sharp acceleration on overtaking, it is recommended to install Kevlar friction discs. For example, one-sided Ray Bastos Z-Pack. On the contrary, for the maximum resource during quite highway operation, it's better to leave standard paper ones, they pollute the oil less. The load on the brake, band and the reverse input drum is still high. Burn marks are clearly visible on the drum in the form of a black ring. Bumps during downshifts are usually caused by this very problem. And a typical jerk or even a shock at the start at switching 1 2 is quite a typical breakdown of the valve body. Prepare the Zonox HP4L60E01 set. They usually try to replace the pump with a newer one, reinforced during any repair. Solar source problems are less noticeable. If you drive long and hard with blows in the box, then the rear planetary gear housing usually doesn't withstand. It twists and tears, after which the box gets up completely. Surprisingly, even after such breakdowns, the repairs usually cost less than 100,000, thanks to the huge fleet of cars with this transmission and the low price of new and used parts. Heavy Duty 4L 80E box is much more durable in design, in motorist 5.3 do not cause it any problems. However, even the giant 8.1 will not scare it. Unlike the Yonder series, there are only two brake bands after runs of 250-300 thousand kilometers and solenoids every 200 thousand or even less often among the possible resource problems. Dirty oil and high load can lead to wear of the bushings and the direct package, but this usually happens at very high mileage, over half a million. These boxes will easily survive the entire car. If possible, order a replacement for this particular automatic transmission in the event of a serious breakdown of the 4L60E. 
True, the dynamics with it will be worse, it is more conservative. The main engine on the Chevrolet Tahoe 2 is a 5.3 small block of the third generation, indexes LM7 and L59. Cars with 4.8 LR4 engine are much less common, even less often 6.0 LQ4, LQ9 motors. These are all variators of the same small block. In general, 4.8 differs from 5.3 only in the piston stroke, and the 5.3 variations have differences in the fuel system. You can determine what kind of motors was on the car from birth by the 8 character in the VIN number. If V, then this is the weakest motor of 4.8, if T, then LM7, but if Z, then L59 with flex fuel. If suddenly you have N or U there, it means that the owner ordered an exclusive version with a 6.0 engine. In fact, you can guess the model of the motor under the hood, they look almost identical. In addition to reading the engine number, you can also look with an endoscope into the cylinder through the spark plug hole for 4.8 the piston is flat and for 5.3 it has a displacer. The block is always cast iron, the cylinder head is aluminum, the injector is distributed and the ignition is in separate modules with short wires. The camshaft here is one of the collapse of the block without the phase shifter and the timing drive is a short chain without a tensioner. The design subject to more or less decent operation without outright dirt at the inlet or overheating can leave 500 thousand without any intervention, and if you manage to wear it out, then the pistons and crankshaft have repair dimensions. It is also very easy to assemble and disassemble. There are even contests for high-speed assembly. These guys, for example, managed to do it in 17 minutes. Returning to a real prospects, overheating should not be considered something incredible. The cooling system suffers from leaks, most often from plastic tees, and the pump doesn't last forever. The camshaft sometimes crumbles and more often because of a low ash oil on a simple mineral water and there are almost no problems with it. Cogging of the rings is quite likely if the engine is not turned at all and the oil is rarely changed. However, if you are visited by such an attack, try chemical decoking. Most likely the motor will not need to be disassembled. Just don't put gas equipment here. Or be prepared for the valve seats to fall out or the valves to crack in half, after which the motor will successfully destroy itself. This also happens with gasoline, but much less often. Also, if you turn the engine too much, the push rods in the timing belt can wear out. In any case, when buying, it is recommended to evaluate their ends for changes in geometry. In addition to antifreeze leaks, there are also oil leaks, for example from the cup of the dipstick, pan gasket or oil filter bracket. Moreover, the pellet may not leak because of the old gasket, but because the bolts have corny rotted. The tank ventilation system produces a bunch of errors, and due to the American tradition, an error in the ventilation system reduces engine power. Any leaks, loose plug, ventilation inadvertently floated with gasoline, and just an old absorber are really a serious problem. On this, information about the problems of Chevrolet Tahoe is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.